With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello students, I'm your teacher for this question and the question is an ideal gaseous mixture of ethane C2H6 and ethane C2H4 occupies 28 liter at 1 atmospheric pressure at 0 degree Celsius temperature. The mixture reacts completely with 128 gram oxygen to produce carbon dioxide and water. So the mole fraction of C2H6 in this mixture is. So in this question, we have been given mixture of ethane and ethene which occupies volume of 28 liter at 1 atmospheric pressure and 0 degree Celsius temperature. And it is said that the mixture reacts completely with 128 gram oxygen to produce CO2 and water. So we have to tell the mole fraction of C2H6 in this mixture. So first, the volume of the mixture is given 28 liter. Its temperature is at 1 atmospheric pressure and 0 degree Celsius temperature. So by using ideal gas equation, that is PV is equal to NRT. We have pressure, we have volume with us that is 28 liter and universe, R is the universal gas constant and T is the temperature given. So we can calculate the N that is number of moles of the mixture of ethane and ethene which is equal to PV upon RT. So we can put the values of the given parameters as pressure is given 1 atmosphere and volume is given 28 liters and the value of R that is universal gas constant is 0 0.0821 liter atmosphere per mole per Kelvin. So we will use this value 0 0.0821 liter atmosphere per mole per Kelvin into temperature. Temperature is given 0 degree Celsius. So 0 degree Celsius we will convert this into Kelvin as 273 Kelvin. So we will put 273 Kelvin. Now here we can see atmosphere will be cut by atmosphere. Liter will also be cut by liter. Kelvin by per Kelvin and it will go above. It is per mole. So it will become mole. So we will have the value of moles. Value in moles. So by calculating this it comes out to be 1.25 moles so these are the number of moles of the mixture now we will let the number of moles of C2H6 be x and number of moles of C2H4 be y so we have the number of moles of the mixture it means x plus y is equals to 1.25 that is the total number of moles of the mixture so we will give this as number 1 so now it is given in the question that the mixture reacts completely with 128 gram oxygen to produce carbon dioxide and water so first we will see the reaction of ethane with oxygen now C2H6 when it reacts with O2 it forms CO2 and water. So first we will balance this equation as here 2 carbon so we will put 2 here and here 3 water so there will be 4 plus 3 7 oxygen so we will put 7 by 2 here. It means we have assumed that the number of moles of C2H6 is x so we can say that x moles of C2H6 reacts with 7 by 2x moles of oxygen to produce carbon dioxide and water. Now for ethene when it reacts with oxygen we will write the equation as CO2 plus water we will balance this equation as C2H4 we will write 2 here and then water then there are 3 oxygen atoms so we will write 6 oxygen atoms so we will write 3 here so this is the balanced equation for ethene we have suppose y moles so if y moles of C2H4 reacts with 3 y moles of O2 to form CO2 and 
Now it is given in the question that the mixture reacts completely with 128 gram of oxygen to produce carbon dioxide and water. It means the total oxygen required is 128 gram. So we can write total O2 required. It will be 7 by 2x for the reaction of C2H6 with oxygen it will be 7 by 2x plus 3y for which ethene reacts with oxygen and we have given this value as 128 grams. So now we can find the moles of oxygen here. So when we divide this 128 gram its molecular weight of oxygen it will become moles so it will become 4 here. So now we have an equation that is 7 by 2x plus 3y is equal to 4. We will simplify this equation as 7x plus 3y plus 6y is equals to 8. So now we have two equations. One equation above we have that is x plus y is equals to 1.25 and another one is 7x plus 6y is equals to 8. So now we will solve these equations to get the number of moles of C2H6 and C2H4. So we will multiply equation 1 by 6. It will become 6x plus 6y is equals to 7.5. And we have another equation that is 7x plus 6y is equals to 8. So when we subtract this second equation from sec first equation from second it will become x is equals to 8 minus 7.5 that is 0 0.5 it means we have the number of moles of c2h6 as 0 0.5 so now we can calculate the so it will be equals to 0.75. So now we have been asked in the question to find the mole fraction of C2H6. And we know mole fraction is equals to mole fraction is equal to the number of moles of the substance to the total number of the moles. So we have to find the number of moles of uh, mole fraction of C2H6. So its number of moles are 0.5 and the total number of moles of mixture are 1.45 so it will become 0.4 so the mole fraction of C2H6 will be is 0.4 in the given mixture so I hope you understood the solution thank you for class 6 to 12 ITJ and NEET level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today